Hi, I'm Jeff Riley. I'm Deputy Director here at the Oklahoma History Center, and I'm standing in front of really one of the more glorious artifacts of our collection. And I'll tell you straight away, it's not originally from Oklahoma. Its relationship with Oklahoma comes much later. This is from up north. It's Lakota in origin. It's one of the, it's probably from around 1852 and is one of the few remaining buffalo hide teepees from that part of the 19th century. It's a remarkable piece to be preserved to this day. And the guy that lived in it was named Two Bears. And I won't even attempt to pronounce his name appropriately, but here's Two Bears. And he's, he's depicted in several places uh, on the teepee. And his house here uh, is decorated on the outside with those objects that tell stories that are related to his life. And the reason we have it in the collections of the Oklahoma Historical Society is association with one of the series of images on the back of the teepee. So we'll, we'll just take a round. There's more than 150 series of, of images on here and you see everything. You know, you see bears, you, elk, all kinds of wildlife. There's scenes of battle, there's social activities, there's all kinds of adventure going on here. Some really clever person was looking at this a few weeks ago and said, oh my gosh, this is like Facebook. It's, it's absolutely the most on point definition I could possibly give you for what all this imagery is on this TV. a big social gathering. Now, as, you, as we've come across, we see lots of horses. And I, I have to admit, I'm kind of a car nut. So, you know, if this was my house, it would be decorated with automobiles rather than horses as transportation. But the, it's the same sort of theme. And the reason that we have this TP is this little scene right here. So there was a, a young United States Army soldier who was up in the area where two bears lived and they became friends. And so one day two bears invited him to participate in a buffalo hunt. And so they're, they're racing off. You can see, sorry, the pole's in the way, but you can see this little buffalo running away in the distance behind or in front of a horse that's different than every other horse depicted on this teepee. You know, they're all rather long, elongated characters. This one, you look at it, and it's got a saddle on and a bridle, and not just a saddle and bridle, but this is straight out of the manual for the United States Army. This is an Army saddle of the 1850s and also the headgear. And underneath this horse, running towards the buffalo, is a blue coat. And <laughs> that's the guy who should be riding the horse. They're running across the plains and his horse sort of tripped for a second, just enough that he went flying off of the horse, ends up on the ground. And then this classic traditional Lakota teepee becomes a total universal guy story. You know, if, if the guy in our story is not fatally injured, all of his friends are gonna tell this story over and over. Oh yeah, he was going buffalo hunting and he fell off his horse and everybody thought it was so funny. And they're gonna tell this story the rest of their life, over and over again. And it's gonna get funnier every time you tell it. So here, it was significant enough in Two Bears' life that not only did they tell the story inside the teepee, but it's depicted here on the outside. This guy didn't get sore about it, didn't take it personal. He acquired the teepee when Two Bears got a new house, 
he kept it the rest of his life. And his son, who became the first adjutant general of the state of Oklahoma, ultimately acquired the teepee and gave it to the Oklahoma Historical Society. And so we have it preserved today for the people of Oklahoma.